Hello, Foss Tube, Quilt Tube. Amy from Bristol Blue back again. Thanks for joining me. I I I took a break from working on color my world. I finished three buildings, and um, so I thought I better take a break here. I've got to go to work tomorrow, and um get a video in. It's been a month and I don't want to go any longer than that and I apologize for delays. Um, let me put this aside. So we're going to start with my quilting updates. I have two, count them, two finishes since my last video and we'll step over here and I will show you the first one I finished is the American Gatherings or the American Quilter so long through Lisa Bonjean and the Primitive Gatherings. So here is my quilt. Um, let's see here. It's kind of big. <laughs> let's see if I can Show it on video here. So I've got uh, 20 blocks are done and sashed and ready to go. Here's my back. I see that, but that is my back. And that is ready to be quilted. So my I got my new sewing machine back, and this morning I finally switched them out. So the new the the new machine, the big one, the big jazz is downstairs and is going to sit at the dining room table so I have a large space with which to quilt and um, see if that makes a huge difference with the, all of the, the quilting that I do. Um, that I don't do, <laughs> whatever that means. So I've got Singer back up and I just ran through a couple of um, four patches to see how that's and that's working out really good. The funny thing is, is that I hit the gas pedal <laughs> and they're very different. The other one, I could barely touch it and it flew. This one here, I had to put it to the floor now because I'm so used to the other one. So, but we'll get back into the swing of things with that. Um, and with that, I have my backing fabric chosen and that's going to be this floral. This is from another designer. Let me see if I can figure out who it is. It's from Riley Blake. Um, Land of Liberty by my mind's eye. This was, I've eyed this one for so long and I finally found enough of it that I can actually back my quilt with it because I had gotten some different and I wasn't real happy with that whole idea. And then the red and white stripes, red, white, and blue stripes will be the binding. And then I've got labels here from Sweetwater and from um, Fat Quarter Shop. So I'm going to put all of them on it. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll figure that out when we get to it. I'm going to quilt up a couple other quilts that have been around a lot longer than these first. And then I will, um, and those updates will come then too when I finish those. But um, here is, this is Flowers for Freya Fabric Line by Robin Pickens. And the pattern is by Anka's Treasures, Heather Peterson, and it's called Diamond Diva. And there is that one. This one's more like a twin, twin size. I don't know if you can hear me behind the quilt, sorry. But I finished, I had two missing triangle set-in pieces, and I had to order more of that solid fabric, which thankfully is always around. So there's that quilt. Um, I have three options for backings. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, and I've got some time for that. So I'm not going to stress about that one at this point right now, but those two quilts are done and ready to be quilted. And I am really happy to be getting back to this. So I am on a month, I don't remember what month it is, but there are Let's see if I can point out that green one right there with the blue door with the yellow windows. That was the month that I'm on. So then there's also 
a blue one and an orange one. <laughs> See, I can do this. <laughs> so I think I've got three or four done. One, two. Yeah, I have four done. The orange one over here is done too. Um, <clears throat> and I've got four more to go on that. So, and then I can move on to the actual corner pieces, which is Big Ben, um, the Eiffel Tower, and a couple other ones for the corners, and then the the hor the, hor the horses, the houses with the trees that go in the and then north, south, east, and west corner uh, top on the sides. So I'm going, working on that. These are some of the other buildings for like the bottoms. There's some close up pictures of some of my pieces. Um, that's building number one. There's building number two. I had to redo some of these number two as I put the shadows on the wrong side. Um, and then I don't think this is building number three. They're both left and right sides. So those, and as I work my way around, I got confused setting them up on the bottom, around the bottom end. So I just decided to sit, to work on that later. I'll just finish my buildings and then I'll work out the kinks in my brain as to where they sit around the outside edge here. Um, so that's my whip and I'm being in that. I will be working on until I finish. I don't know that I'm gonna throw anything else in on that. Um, the only other thing that I am doing is my leaders and enders while I'm working on it. And right now I am working on um, patchwork project bags. I've got three things of Lori Holt's um, fabrics. They're jelly bars, like partial jelly bar, partial layer cake, two partial jelly bars and a partial layer cake, layer cake that came in some so sampler boxes that I had gotten over previous years, last two years, I think. And the one I'm working on right now is Vintage Happy 2. So I'm making all of these little four patches right now. Um, so there's some right there. And I will make those into a project bag. So those, that's my leaders and enders project. And I've got them all now into four patches. So now I'm four, sewing four patches together to make 16 patches. So I can make the front and the back. All of it's going to be patchwork, by the way. The front, the bottom panel. I think they're, I don't think I'm going to put vinyl on these. They're just going to be completely quilted um, bags. I will bind them so that um, I can quilt the light, the inside fabric too. I have to decide or figure out what I'm gonna use for the lining on the inside. I don't have any Lori Holt, no, Lori Holt neutrals or anything like that. So I'll have to work for my stash or order some. I haven't quite decided on that, but this is an ongoing project and I've got, like I said, I've got some others here. I've got Stitch and I've got Flea Market. So Stitch, I think this is the Stitch, yeah, this is Stitch, um, is a partial layer cake, or jelly roll, not jelly roll, jolly bar, <laughs> exclusive to the Fat Quarter Shop. So I will be cutting those up into, um, and I think I cut them into two inch squares versus two and a half inch. Um, I just like smaller squares. So I've got that bundle to do next, and I may get two, three, I don't know how many bags I'll get out of them, but I'll make however many I get out of it. And then the other one here is the flea market one, and this one here is a layer cake, and it's just a partial of that. But So I will be making these into project bags. I know Lori Holt's very popular, and... Um, I'll get that out there. So that's an ongoing whip. Um, that's pretty much all I have going on for whips right now. At the current time, it's gonna focus on Color My World and get that done. I'm hoping, I don't, I'm not going to shoot for the end of the month, but I'd like to have it done by the end of April for sure, if, that's, if I can make that happen. Um, 
we're a little short on staff. We're working very, very skeleton crewish for the next several weeks. Um, I put in an eight day stretch not that long ago, and that's another reason why I haven't been able to put up a video. And there were several days I didn't source the cross stitch anything. Um, so it's, I was tired. I needed a couple days. I was working 3 30 to midnight shifts, and I worked eight shifts in a row, and then I had just the weekend off. And then, um, so I have to go back again tomorrow. But tomorrow was kind of up in the air. We're looking for an overnighter, and if I can split it with the day person, the early morning person, we can probably make that work. So, um, prevent double shifts if I can. I don't know that this old lady can handle it. <laughs> so anyway, enough about that. Um, we're going to move on to some hauls. I've got fabric hauls here. So I like, I um, have a lot of Pioneer Woman, like dishware and, and uh, I have bowls and I have a pitcher and now I have um, paper towel holder and stuff and I found she has fabric and so I might make myself some curtains or something to match all of the stuff that I have, but I got these fat quarter bundles. So there's some it's a pink and yellow with an aqua floral. There's a blue and red, wait, or yellow and blue floral stripe. The pink one. You know, the light might be a little bit better today. Here's a there's a solid in with each one of them, and this one here is kind of a greeny aqua, and then a um, check this is more green than blue um they're a little fat quarter this is called sweet romance and then i've got breezy blossom i haven't opened that one i had opened this one i hadn't so this one's kind of pinks and greens but there's another large floral on there it's really i'm they feel really, um, kind of, well, I mean, it's just the roughness of my hands, but they're very good quality fabric. I'm not sure who the maker is of it, but it's through Walmart, but I'm not sure who the fabric is made by, but there's the big floral. There's a little medium print neutral. I made project bags out of this too. There's a little aqua print, a little fuchsia pink dot, a yellow gingham check, and this one here is kind of a, it's a greeny, another green solid. Kind of matches the turquoise flower right there. Um, and then the last one's my absolute favorite. I don't know if I'll be anything to sell it. This one, this one here is, I think, where, good, where the curtains will come from from my kitchen. Um, here's the floral. See, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I'm going to see if I can order yardage of that, but right now they only have the fat quarters. Um, here's the blue and whites. Oh my God, see? This would be perfect for the curtains that I should make in my bedroom. If I'm going to go with a blue one. White twall. Here's a blue floral. It's a tone on tone kind of thing. It's a little darker floral bouquet. A blue solid. Another small print. Red, white, and bluish floral. And a red gingham check. They're just cute. I thought they were very good. There was a third one. And you can also get them in half yard bundles. Um, <clears throat> there was a third bundle, but it was sold out. So by the time I got it, I ordered it. And Actually, so you can get it at the store because I have all my groceries delivered to the house. Um, kind of like at the time that I'm going to come be home from work so I can grab it right off the porch and put it away. So this came with my grocery delivery. <laughs> um, let's see here. And I signed up for the Fat Quarter Bundle of the Month and with a Fat Quarter Shop. So I've got two subscriptions now. The uh, so sampler boxes and now a monthly... I looked at it, a monthly um, 
fat corner bundle. And this one here is Prairie Days Petite. Um, and it's actually, I ordered, I started it to, I ordered it to start March 1st. And I just got the invoice for the March one to come. I think it's the first. I could be wrong. So anyway, I had ordered it enough in time. Apparently, I got October's um, that was delayed. So it's all good. So we've got some, let's see here. We've got flags. Let's see. How can I do this? So that you can see what I got. And I think this will make some fun project bags. It's like, only need a couple fat quarters for a vinyl bag. So this one here is a, just a flag. This one here is, oh, this pretty small blue floral, a floral print. Here's another one. It's got a little like leafy thing, another neutral-ish. This is adorable with the sheep with the flag on its back. That's in red. That little leafy thing also comes in red print. And then there's a red gingham dot, red gingham print. Small one, I like those. Here is a blue, these look like little stars. They're red and blue. They look like they're shaped like stars. The little asterisks, you know, that you see in a book. Here's a blue stripe. Looks kind of ticking like. Um, here's the blue flag, like that. Here is the sheep in blue with the flag on his back. That's really cute. Here is the blue in white. That's again, those are little stars. Little stars. And then we've got this one. I'm not sure how to explain what that is, so I so just want to show you. It's got uh, little tags all over it, a little truck and a cat and a milk can. Celebrate farm life, handcrafted by me for you. Oh, I think some of these, these could be labels. How cute is that? I like that. Born to ride with a dog in the back of the truck. That's adorable. That is simply adorable. Now look at all the stuff I have to put back together. <laughs> That's okay. That is okay. And in the um, Fat Quarter Club box, it comes with a picture of all the prints and then the skews in the order in which they're shown. They're numbered with their SKU numbers so that you can order them too. So that's fabulous. I am loving that. And then I ordered um, some more, I think these are yards. I ordered yardage of this. I love this. This is again, um, Jay Wecker Fresh. She Who Sews. That's this. A tossed kind of thing. So we got shoes and we got dressmaker. What do you call these things? I forget the name escapes me. Little mannequins, little hats and threads and buttons and and uh, tomato pink cushions. And this is in the blue colorway. I don't think I got it in another colorway, but I kind of just went blues and yellows. This one here is a light blue with um, sewing machines. And this looks like this one of those, oh, it's got a crank handle on it. There's that, and I got it in the white and with the black machines. I also got this one, which is like the spool tops, black and white, sewing bountifully, building corticelli, Pure silk, mercenized cotton. I like that. That's cute. And it also came in a yellow on yellow. So I got that one, two. Blues, blacks, and yellows. Kind of isn't blue and yellow the Ukraine thing? I like that idea. These are little tiny little buttons. They have little 
white dots with little tiny black dots inside, so they look like little tiny buttons. And I got spools, and there's a bunch of different kind of spools on there. And then there's little sayings on it that so easily entangles best thread for hand for machine and hand use. It is wound on, you know, so like that. And then this one here is black and white. It's not a panel line per se. I think it's just, let's see. So spool cotton needles and pins. It says clocks. ONT spool cotton, best thread for hand number. There's like, that's a machine. The Wheeler and Wilson sewing machine, sewing machine, sewing made easy, E A Z E E. Yeah, that's fun. Isn't it fun? I think that's fun. That's very fun. So, <clears throat> not sure. But I'm, my, my first thought was Project Banks and, and that. But we'll see. I might uh, decide to do something a little different. I don't, know. I don't know when I'll get to it right now. I'm, I kind of got bagged out last month <laughs> with 14 bags that I made. So I'm taking a break from making bags for a minute. I, I put seven of them, I think, on Etsy. So um, let's see. I got a, so a sampler box that I didn't put away. <laughs> Previous ones I've had since we started this, I had put all the stuff away. I didn't even think to save them for um, showing you. But I have subscribed to this for a couple years, if not three, something like that. And I enjoy every single box that I get. Um, if I don't, I mean, I typically don't make the pattern that comes with it. And there is also a block of the month that comes with it, but I don't typically make those. I save those patterns and I have referenced them for other projects and stuff like that. So, but uh, you get this little top card that comes with it. And this one here gives you the, the monthly theme, dream plan, dream plan make. And this is the December box. Um, I just got this one last week, I think it was, yeah. And on the back side, you get a coupon for something. This one here is for Martingale Books. And this expires, I believe, April, if I'm not mistaken. It says March, but I think because it was late, you could get it a little later. But in this box came a little quilty calendar. This is a quilting cal quilty calendar 2022 really cute little cover with all the different sample blocks. This is made by Riley Blake. And I didn't put anything in the January and I think I just put in here, I was writing my schedule <laughs> last weekend off. And then I read 3.30 to midnight and then I've got the rest of, the only schedule that I know about <laughs> for March. Um, it's only through the 15th. I don't know what I'm working after that. So, but my sister's birthday is coming up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And also in this box came John James Sharps needles, size 10. I don't know if I can use those for cross stitch or not, but that's kind of the only needles I use right now. We'll see if they'd, they'd work. They're sharp, so I'm not real a fan of sharp needles when I'm cross-stitching. I have a couple and I'm not real thrilled about. But I like I, I like the head on them because the thread goes through really easily. And then there's this little thing. And let's see, what's it called? There's a little card in here that tells you every little, all the little things that are inside your your box and how much it's worth. But this is the bejeweled, bejeweled needle holder. It's really Cute. It's got this cute little tassel on it. And this looks like a little jewel. 
and it takes a little bit, but you just pull this off and then you can twist this up in this little pin cushion in here. It looks like a little lipstick. So let's do this. Grab a pin, I'll stick it in there. Let's see, how far can I go? Oh, I can go quite a ways in there. And then you just twist it down and then put your cover back on. And you got yourself the cutest little needle holder. It's adorable. Love that. So, and then there came, this is the fun part, the fabric. Junior Jelly Roll. And this is Celestial by Mona Zen Chic. So it's like goldie browns and neutral grays and tans. So, yeah, a little fun little jelly roll, junior jelly roll. So there's not a full thing, there's only 20 cuts in it on the juniors. And I think that's the, the half, the ones that I have with the Lori Holt, they only have like 20 of each one. So we'll see what gets made out of those. Here's the pattern that's exclusive. It's called Ambiance to make with that jelly roll. Um, so I can't show you what's in there, but the back side is a martingale. Piles of pillows and pizzazz. It's a, like an ad on the back of that. And then there's a monthly block, which is for bright side. And I think this is by Sherry and Chelsea. So I just save those. I just put them away because someday I may need a block idea and those are great for that because I've saved all of those throughout the years. So <clears throat> that's fun. I like getting that. I love getting that. I think I don't know when the next one's coming, but I think we're still waiting on January and February. But uh, they usually come around the 20th of the month. So I'll set that aside too. Everything will probably fall down. And then I order, they have a specialty boxes. And I get the Cupid box every year. And I also get the 4th of July one. And I get the Christmas one. And I get the Halloween one. And so far I've been lucky. I don't know that I've missed one. Because <laughs> they go pretty quickly. So this one here is the Cupid box. And here's the top card for that and there is a coupon in here for confetti cotton and the code is on that and then here's the little cute little card that comes with all of the the contents and little more descriptions and the the costs of them but it came with let's do this first so there is in this box a simple Mini simple folded corners ruler. I've already got this. This is a Doug Lico. And but this one's pink. It's cute. <laughs> I like it. I'll probably tend to use a pink one more than I would a clear one. But I like using this ruler. It's it's a good ruler. Let's see. And it helps you you can um if you're doing like um, the flip, the sew and flips on like the uh, on the squares and stuff when you're making like hearts and stuff like that, you can set it, this on it and cut your fabric off and then you just have to sew it. You don't have to um, sew from corner to corner on your, you know, to draw the line on the, the upper, on the top square and stuff like that. So it, it works really, really nice. I made a snowball quilt for my mother and I used, um, I'm gonna have to show a picture of it now because uh, it's on my Instagram, but I made it for Mother's Day, no, I think it was 2019 she got it. Um, <clears throat> but it was a laundry basket quilt. But it was a laundry basket quilt and it's mostly her reds and greens and some creams. Um, but I sewed, so corners squares on every single five inch square. I did it with a number of charm packs. 
and I use this to get them all extremely perfect. It was a godsend to have had this ruler for that. I highly suggest this simple folded corner. What do you call it again? The mini simple folded corners. Absolutely love that ruler. I'm making more. I, that snowball quilt was fun and it's great. I'm going to, I'll have to stick in a picture of it. Um, that's for sure. All right. And then what else did we get in this box? So we got a keychain. Let me pull this out of here. This came like yesterday or the day before. I came home from work and it was, my son had put it in my chair. So let's see, it's got, it's a like a leather feeling heart on it. It's got a leather feel, but I don't know that it is leather. It could be. And it says in love, embossed in it. And that's pink. And then there is the um, little lobster claw clip. It's in the shape of a heart. Stick it to your keys. And then there's also this little charm. It says 2022 Cupid Box Limited Edition. And it has a fat quarter shop logo on it. I can't get the plastic off. It's like heat wrapped onto it. So that may take me a while to get some scissors to it. There's also a oh, cherry flavored lip balm. This stuff is really good. <laughs> it tastes good too. <laughs> but it really was it felt it feels good on the lips, but yeah it's an exclusive fat quarter Cupid box www fat quarter shop looks like you could rip that off and there's more looks like ingredients and stuff in there um let's see so here's a pattern that came with it and it's called it takes two this it's so emma so it's a fat quarter shop cupid box limited edition here's the pattern and you get all the fabric to make it except for the backing and the binding and this is cute. It is called All of My or Falling in does it say? Falling in Love by Danny Mugstead. And it is cute. Oh my god. Look at this. Little trucks. Pink trucks, hearts typewriters. Can you see the typewriters on there? You can see them better on this side. There's also a little, uh, what a kissing booth. <laughs> it's cute. Isn't that cute? And then here is a pretty pink floral and a little whirly giggy design on this one. This one's pink. Mm -hmm. Here is a red X's and O's. I love that. Red is just so perfect. It's beautiful. Little tulips. Oh, so pretty. I gotta make like a table topper for my dining room, I think. And then there's this little plaid. It's all reds, different uh, tones of reds. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous and then you also get this is the package for the backing not backing the um the background let's stick this up background and borders so this is a Oh, I've been sick too since my birthday. <coughs> and this one here is kind of a rose red. Very, very nice. Very, just that deep red is just beautiful. And then there's oh, quite a bit of this. I think it would be like a whole yard of it, but it's it's a white with a pattern of little hash marks or slashes, but it doesn't cover the whole thing. It's really hard to show on here. I'm not going to show. 
Maybe there you can see the little splotches of these little hash marks. Yeah, that's totally fun. I am, I'm absolutely, I think this might be even my favorite one ever of the Cupid. And I love everything I get from that quarter shop. So this is adorable. This pattern, oh, there's little boxes of candies with chocolate. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, so we'll put all that back in there. All right, so now we're going to move on to floss tube. That is pretty much all I have that is quilting related. Um, so let's see here. I did um, get my book of days. And since I had been keeping track on my schedule, work schedule of what I had been working on quilting wise and um cross-stitch wise, I did add it to my, my calendar. So this is how I've been using it. I put my name in there and I, whatever color, I just use colors all day long. So I, on the day I will, I've been using a, um, abbreviations for everything that I do. And then over in this column, I will put the abbreviation and put a big box around it and then write out what the abbreviation stands for so that don't forget years from now. <laughs> but, um, and then I'll put little asterisks next to it if it was a big a new start or something like that. But I also put on here, it's quilting and, um, so I, quilting and cross stitch. Get the words out, Amy. Um, so if I worked in a bag, I put that on there and I even gave it like an abbreviation of initials and numbers and things like that. So that has been really fun to do. I enjoy that. And so here's February. I got some stickers, so I was putting some stickers on here. Um, so my birthday, my son's birthday, this here I finished... I didn't finish anything. Oh, it was yay because I got my fat quarter shop delivery box, my box delivered. Anyway, I sold a bag. And uh, so I've been having fun doing that. And then I've written down everything I'm going to be working on this month. I put it all over here so that when the initials, the abbreviations come up, I know what they mean when I stick them in there. And then if I get new starts or something like that, then... I will just add to it. So I've been enjoying doing that. So we'll keep this out so that's what I may need to refer to it. Um, I'm going to do, oh, this is my tiny, I have a little bit of a haul. So the first thing I want to show is that I did order some labels to put on my bag that has my name on it. So the company name. So I did do that, and they're, um, they say Bristol Blue LLC, I think you need to, and they have a little heart on them, but you can't see it, it's so small, but they're sew-in labels, so I will find a place on each bag that I make going forward, I don't, I, I'll try to put them on the ones as they sell, before they go out and see if I can find a place to put them on there, but that's what the, the back looks like. They're handmade, and I got a hundred of them. They're fairly inexpensive, so I don't know. Can you even see it? Can't read it. So small. But it says Bristol Blue LLC. I have heard so often people who have um, watching floss tubes that have they like to talk about their bags and they get a little disappointed if there's not a name on it and they can't remember who made it when they got it. So I will do that going forward. So I've got that. Come on, get in there right. I just heard my phone. I mean, negotiations with my shift for tomorrow, so I was waiting for a response. <laughs> 
I really don't want to work more than eight hours. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm too old. So anyway, I will uh, follow up on that here in a minute. I also have a finish. I finished. Let me take this out of the bag because it's also got my card on it with all of the... So I finished Scattered Seed Samplers, um, Acts of Kindness Pin Keep. Finished that. Here is mine. Finished this just the other day. Um, I finished it on the 25th of February. So there's my finish. I just adore it. Just, just adore it. And I realized after I finished the bunny that this the belly portion or the chest portion of the bunny was supposed to be a different color. <laughs> I really like that duck bone. That color it was kind of pink. It's very cute. I love this. I started this on January 19th and finished it on February 25th. And it was 20 days of sewing, of stitching on it that it took me to do it. It's on 32 count perch by fiber on a whim. I used all the called for threads except for the, the, the test. <laughs> um, we did, I did get DMC 3012 instead of the Gentle Arts End Dive. They didn't have for the green, it's for the grass on the bottom of the, the little bunnies. So that is good. My first, well, my second finish, I guess, for the year because I did finish the, the holiday flyer that I had done. Um, and so now I've got to finish, finish, final finish them. There's that too. Um, not my best work. That one. And so now I've got haul for what I, uh, for finishing. So I got from Lady.Creates, I ordered some velveteens. I've got... Polar Ice, which is what I think I'm going to use for Acts of Kindness on the back. I got Squash. Thought oh, that'd be good for a fall finish. And this one here, I might use this on the Holiday Flyer. It doesn't quite match, but it's called Pea Pod. Very pretty green. I also did get some ribbons and... This one here is a honeycomb ribbon. I got some red chenille. This one here is definitely for a holiday. I made just the holiday flyer, put that around the outside edge. I'm gonna make little pillows. I might um, use this ribbon to make little hangers. I brought up, after I took Christmas down, I brought up the tree that I was using in the hallway at the top or at the stair landing I took and I'm going to put just all of the handmade things that I make and put it on there and just leave it in here I like it it, it makes me happy when I'm sewing and seeing it I don't know if I can show you it I'd have to move the whole computer but uh, I'll probably take a picture I kind of fill it up I only got two things on it so then for I got a ribbon it's called Union it's a blue so I'm Use that on my acts of kindness as well. So let's see here. I don't know if I'm going to use that or the. Let's do this. This will stick up there better. So I plan to use the polar ice for the back. Uh, that's a little, not the right blue, I don't think, for those flowers. This one here is more like a. Fourth of July kind of color. I do have, I did get this Buster Brown's Dirty Lace from her as well. Um, that might work. And then I got the two yards of pom-poms in the blue, which I think this might look better. I might put pom-poms on it. I'm not sure. I don't know yet. You could chime in if you want to put a comment in there. If I should use either one of the laces, the lace or one of the ribbons. 
but uh, I'm gonna just make it a little end up to a pillow. This one here will go in a bowl and sit on my dining room table. Um, my sister gave me for my birthday a plate and with a bunny on it and stuff, and I put that in a stand on. I have a tray on my dining room table, and I have a carrot-shaped coffee mug, so I might take pictures of that that vignette when I get it all put together. But I, I do want to try to get that done sooner rather than later, but no guarantees that I'll have it done this month. But I do want to have it done by Easter, that's for sure. I do want to have it done by Easter. And this other holiday flyer one can wait till Christmas. <laughs> all right. Um, so, yeah, I got two of those, the pom-poms and the blue. But I'm going to have to get some more colors, that's for darn sure. I'm going to have to get more. Because I really like those. <laughs> All right, now is a kind of a review. I'm gonna, and it's it's uh, cross stitch related because I use it regularly cross stitch to to see. <laughs> These are my prescription glasses. I can barely. I just got them, and I'm not pleased. I didn't just get them. I got them like last year, but. I went back and complained, and they didn't do anything about it. So I'm really happy. I got a shop go. Anyway, they went out of business here. And um, so I need to be able to see all the little squares and stuff like that. So last year, this time, I had purchased this little contraption. Right now, I've got it all taken apart. The, the glasses and stuff are all gone. What I am using. So I cracked the side here and it flopped around and so it laid crooked on my face so I decided it was time to get a new pair but I've been using these at night being in bed so I can turn the light on and see so that I don't have to get up out of bed after reading my book to turn the light out <laughs> plus that overhead light it's just so harsh <laughs> this keeps the room dark but keeps the light right on my book so it still feels like I'm reading in the dark and I could fall asleep better so, and I'll do a book review too here in a minute, but, um, cause I just started reading books again. So this is now my book reading light. And I took, <clears throat> so because this broke, cause I had been using the things over my ears. Okay. <clears throat> but because it broke, it was going lopsided. So I grabbed the little strap. So now it just sits in the back of my head and, and that kind of gives me a headache. So I can't wear it for too long, which is fine because I don't read for very long at all. But then I have my reading glasses. These are a little bit harder strength than these too. So because I have to do this. Anyway, <clears throat> that's a whole other story that I have to do with my prescription glasses. <clears throat> I do pay so much for them. So then I replaced that and I ordered this one morning this week and then got it the next morning and what it's only wednesday so i think i did this monday and got them no i did them over the weekend i got them like or sunday and got them monday but this one here i got these they put on just like glasses and they have push the button and they have two levels of light on them <clears throat> i wanted something that i could easily take on and off and not mess up your hair. <laughs> the other, they, those had like metal rubber grips on the side and they pulled my hair out. So now I just wear this. I can't see you at all. But if I want to see TV, I just kind of go like that because I do know that that's now a new problem. I can't see TV and stitch at the same time. But these go up to five times magnification and I do have a data three. Um, so, they come with all of the different levels in this container. So I've got the middle one. So there's one other one here, and I think this is five is next. Yeah, five times. And these, uh, I've got them in there, so I don't know what they are, but I think it's three and a half. Yep, three and a half. It's written on the bottom of the thing, too. So got those sizes. So it is a little large. It does charge. 
put it. Oh, it's in downstairs. But it's a charger. You plug it in like a USB port. So like 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 a phone charger kind of thing. It works the same way and you plug this in and it charges up the light. But I have been using it nonstop since I took it out of the box and I haven't had to charge it yet. So and I've been using it quite a bit because I've been working a lot on something here and um the last couple of days, so I'm trying to finish it, but I like these. They're what, $15.99, $16, $14.99, $15, something like that, but I really like these, and they're, it's like carrying around a big set of glasses, so <clears throat> if I'm going to take them somewhere, someplace else, and sit and stitch, because I stitched for a little bit while I was in the car yesterday, waiting for a car wash in line. And all I had to do was just throw these on and I could flip them back off into my bag. It was very easy. So I'm very happy with that purchase so far. I have good things to say about that. And I had everything good to say about this. I use these all the time until I crack the plastic on the side. Um, and so here's the book. I'll do a little book review too as I started reading the books. I am reading, reading um, Julia Quinn um, Bridgerton series. I got my first book is called Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. This is the Penelope and Colin story. I have not seen any of the shows on Netflix. I haven't seen any of them and I don't want to see them till I read the books. So I've got the first one, got it at Target, and I have read like the first three chapters since I bought this Saturday. Um, I don't read a whole lot, I, so it was very unusual. Last night was the first time I actually sat in bed and read a book in years. So, but uh, I didn't stitch yesterday in the car. I read this book while I was waiting for the car wash. <laughs> I, I did the stitching. Shh, don't tell. And then I got an Emily Griffin book. I like Emily Griffin. I read Eat, Pray, Love. Actually, years ago when I got that book, I left it in an airplane. And I was very sad and I never did buy it. But I was like almost done with it too. And I was so sad. <laughs> I did a lot of traveling in a previous job. And I left it in an airplane and never did buy the book again so I could finish it. So... Uh, maybe I should do that someday. I'll have to reread it then, I think. But I got this one. It's called The Lies That Bind. And the first page that I read, it's about a young woman who is trying to be a writer and is in New York, but she's from Pewaukee, Wisconsin. So that was fun. <laughs> Another Wisconsinite. So I will read that one next. All right. So now we are going to move on to... Um, I did my finish. Now we're going back on to whips here. All right. So these are my works in progress. This here is, maybe it's cold outside, by Beth Twist Heart String Samplery. I am so close to being done, you guys. I'm so excited. I can have this finished. I don't think I could finish it today, even if I... Well, I suppose I could. I don't have much more to go. I could finish it today. Um, I could. I could. So here is my version of it. I have left to put on here is look out at that storm and um, some snowflakes. There's like five snowflakes and look out at and I'll be done. And then this one's going to get framed up and hang on the wall in my dining room. I'm going to start putting all my samplers, all these things in the dining room for now until I get the hallway, the staircase ready and get pictures and stuff. I just realized, you know what? Okay. Uh, that's from the iron. Anybody else do that? I burn myself on my iron all the time. I have so many scars up and down this arm from doing that here <laughs> on both arms to be honest with you <laughs> so i do it all the time and it'll never it'll never stop that's the you know the hazards of a quilter huh? 
Anyway, so that's where I am with that, and I hope to have that finished. And then when I finish that, I will start something new. And I've got a plan for that, and that'll coming up at the bottom here. So now, let's put this over here. Uh, my Darktober Nevermore project. I got a little bit further on that one. I do this one here on the 13th of every month. And I finished the moon. I finished the moon. Got that done. And I got two stitches in and I start the house now down the center of this. Let's get the picture out here. That's that. So I started it way up at the top here and I started the house. So we're we're getting it, we're moving along. And that's in my dot dot goose bag. I love her fabric. She chooses for her projects. Thanks. Alright, so I have that one. Update. Where am I putting these? Then I worked on my 25th day so long. I have yet to post anything to fa to Instagram or Facebook about about my stitching. I don't know why that is. Keeping it all under hush hush, huh? I don't know. So this is a Teresa Kogut Seasons Greetings. This is the one I'm working on with that. And I started a day late, I think, again, because I had to work. But this one here... I, I, and I worked on it another day or two afterwards because it's very full coverage. It's all full coverage from here on out, I believe, at the whole bottom of this. So I want to get as far along on that part because, so that I can I can finish. Because I think the only thing that's not stitched is this background across the top here. Otherwise, everything is full full coverage stitching. So sage color green and so I've got that part all done on that side I did a little bit more on the fence I finished off with the star in the center of that and put this the brim on the hat and then did the the sage color in there and then um, so now I'm ready to do snowman next month so that was fun I'm kind of enjoying that kind of I like doing it all. What am I talking about? All right, so there's the update on that. And then I had a new start. And I started this on February 8th. And this is the Back to the Grind. That's by Silver Creek Samplers. I was having like the day, the earlier that day, it that day yeah I was I was stitching out a, a couple of different projects and I just kept making mistake after mistake after mistake and everything and I'm like you know what today is just not my day but then later on I'm like I want to stitch and I thought well maybe a new start is what I need so I decided to pull this one up here are the fabrics and I'm doing this on 36 count cappuccino or the fabrics the, the threads um, cappuccino by Fiber on a Whim, and I'm using all the call for DMC on this one. And here is what I've gotten, and I was enjoying this. It's one over two. And I have gotten that far. So I'm on the G. Oh, that's been fun. I like that one. And that, I, I just worked it. Not one mistake whatsoever. So I think that's all it was is I just needed a new one. I needed something new to work on. So that was kind of nice. That's kind of cool, <laughs> actually. So yeah, February 8th, I started that one. I don't know how many days I've gotten into it right now, but I could count it on my calendar. But I started putting that on my calendar too. So when I put the initial, the abbreviation, I'm gonna put in parentheses, like what day it is as to how many days I've already been stitching on that project. Um, that way I have some statistics to show. Um, and then my other new start on my birthday, 
on February 12th, I started the Bristol Berries. I'm doing this up here. Doing that one right now. Did I put the card in here? I did. So it has information. I started on February 12th. It's on 36 count cream and sugar with fiber on a whim. And I decided I was having some trouble. I made, I got a bunch of different reds and pinks um, for threads. And I decided to go with the classic color works, Bell Swath Silk and Berry Cobbler. And I love working on this. So I've got the outline of the buildings done, and so now I'm going through and I had started putting the roof up, and we'll put all the windows in next, and then I'll work on the bottom, the address part. So I love that. Absolutely love that. I'm just trying to... That was, that's fun. 36 count in silk, and I can use a long thread in. <laughs> ah, joys. Little things that make us happy, huh? Okay. In there. There's a lot in this bag for some reason. And I have, I don't have another new start, but I am going to start this one. Now I've finished Acts of Kindness. I have pulled out another Scattered Seed Samplers project, and it's called Humble Gatherings. And I want to try to finish and have two done by Easter. So since it took me 20 days to do the last one, I figured if I start this on March 9th, I can have this done in time for Easter too. So, And I might finish them off together. So this one's going to be done on 32 count parchments the same fabric i used for acts of kindness the other bunny one and i'm using the called for all of the called for dmc so there's you can have a red and an orange and some browns and greens there's that so that's going to start on march 9th and i've got my ring and floss Biddies, my flat floss, what do you call these things? Floss drops are ready to get the, the fabric, I mean the fabric, the threads ready so I can get that started. So everything's ready to go. It's all in here. Ready to go. So now I, that's all the things that I have worked on. So here's my plan for ongoing. Um, I will start Humble Gatherings, and I may start something else when I finish the Baby It's Cold Outside. And I'm thinking I'm going to start the Smith Sampler. I'll have to see. I don't know for sure. I don't guarantee some that, but I think I'm going to start Smith Sampler. Um, I've got the fabric. And the threads, and this is going to go on 32 count Belfast linen cream and sugar, just like uh, Bristol Berries. That's the word I'm looking for. I've got all the threads for it. I've got silks. I've got DMCs. So... I don't want to start another one until I finish another one. So once I finish Baby It's Cold Outside, then I will uh, do that. So these are the threads that I've got for that. So it's pretty much ready to go. And I think a week or so after I finish Baby It's Cold Outside, I might start that. No guarantees. But so that would give me... <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven works in progress. I have done no work on Tilly's house, but I'm going to get these into a rotation. So like every Monday I do this and every Tuesday I do this. I don't know. We're going to try something here because I tend to just kind of like just work on one thing for days and then I get a little sick of it and then I go on to another one. So 
I think what I'll do is, is like Mondays are dedicated to just this one and Tuesdays to this one, and we'll see how that works. You know, got to experiment. I haven't done anything on Tilly's house, but I think I want to show you the picture of it too, in case you're interested. That's another Teresa Coquit. That's this one right here. And that is done on... Do I have a card on that one? Yes, I do. And that is Belfast Linen, 32 count dirty linen. And I started this or restarted this in, on January 2nd. And I didn't work on it at all in February, so I don't think so. Very, very little. Um, so I'm going to get that into a rotation so I can get that, keep it going, keep it going. And I have not worked on Rose Manor all year yet. I don't think I've worked on this one since December. I still have to fix my little tree error before I can even move on with that. But that's where I am with that. And I'm going to get this into rotation because I want to get this moving. I keep seeing people's updates on theirs in, on Instagram. And I just really, really want to get get mine going too. So I'm going to keep, I got to get this back into rotation so I at least touch it four times a month, once every week. So we'll see how that plan works out for me. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, oh, I forgot these. These came in the mail, I guess yesterday, but I didn't empty the mailbox until today. But I had also try, wanted to try as far as magnifiers. These are 5.0 readers. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> they are thick. <laughs> That's weird. So I'm going to try these two. So it can work just like glasses. So we'll see. Oh my God, I can't see anything on them. But um, this might work better too for stitching. These are really powerful. And when I was taking it out of the mail, I had another, I had some fabric down there. And I did, I did, I could see the holes. So. I'm hoping that will help because I just want something that's not so bulky to carry around with me. And I don't know exactly. I got them on Amazon. I just did a search for um, magnifying readers and then I looked for 5.0s. My show was looking at 4.0s to start, but I thought, you know what? I use the 3.5 on those other magnifying readers on both of those, and that was powerful. So that's not the same as eyeglass readers. So I thought, well, let me try fives for $8.99. I don't remember how much they were, but they were inexpensive enough that I could test it out. Because who knows? Someday I may be having to use this to actually see things. <laughs> I went from 1.25 to three and a half very quickly. So. Who knows? So the plan is to have work one day, uh, stitch on one project every day, um, whether it be, well, say so I've got the uh, Nevermore and the Seasons Greetings are actually like special days. So Nevermore is done on the 13th and Seasons Greetings is done on the 25th. So all the other ones, the Back to the Grind, Bristol Berries, Rose Manor, Tilly's House, and maybe the Smith Sampler I'll start. Um, oh, and um, that new Easter one, what's it called? Humble Gatherings. We'll get those into rotation to work on once, one day a week, if not more. So we'll get that taken care of because I kind of tend to, I'll come, I'll, I'll stitch in the morning and then as soon as I have to like, I'll have enough coffee that I have to come back upstairs and use the restroom, then I'll kind of sit in here for a while and so for an hour or two straight and then I'll go and have lunch and I'll go stitch for half an hour or so and then I'll go come back up here and stitch for another couple of hours, stitch. So I can't make a difference between the two <laughs> stitching so so I'm but I, I'm really excited to get back to this I get a little it gets a little tedious uh, for me to do routine things so as long as I keep changing colors on those buildings then 
would be all right. So I've already picked out the colors for the next one. Of course, I've got it all hidden by quilts and fabric now. So um, how long has this gone? An hour and nine minutes. So I guess it's not too bad. So anyway, I will post some pictures. I'll throw in some pictures. I took some video of um, Lake on Alaska yesterday. My sister made her move to Colorado. She left here Sunday. She and her boyfriend um, with her budget truck and towing his motorcycles, and she drove her car. Um, they left Sunday morning at about 8.30, and they got back to Colorado after a bunch of stops and gas and all that kind of stuff. They And they got to the Hawus house at about 6.30 last Monday night. So she's now officially a Colorado resident, and I miss her very, very much. Um, <clears throat> what else do we got going on here? So she sent pictures of, I forget the name of the mountains that are behind her house, but she sent pictures of the view of those mountains from behind her house. And so then I went out, and we have bluffs around here, which is not mountains, but they're hills, big hills. To me, they're going to help me because I don't spend a lot of time around mountain ranges. But anyway, I went, I stopped at, there's a couple of, I had to go to mom's yesterday. And so there's a couple of places where you can pull off the road and do a little um, sightseeing. There's maybe a hysteric, historic, I call them hysterical markers, historical marker. But you can view and watch airplanes come into the airport and land. They go over the big lake. There's a whole bunch of ice fishermen out there, ice fishers, ice fishing going on out on the lake yesterday. Um, and so there was the view of the bluffs in the background, which is Minnesota. And um, so I sent that back to her and I said, well, don't you miss these mountains? <laughs> anyway, it's been fun and I'm looking forward to my first trip. Mom and I were chatting about it yesterday, so I think we're going to fly out our first time, get a feel for it, and, and then we'll go from there. But I don't know when that will happen since we're so short staff right now. we got to wait for people to be hired and trained and stuff. So I'm going to shoot for mid to end of May. My understanding is that there's too many people who have requested time off in June that I may not be able to get time off in June. So maybe July, August. We'll go for one long trip this year and then maybe two or three next year. We'll see. I've got to get that uh, get that going. So I retire in six years. As of March 1st, 2028 is the plan to retire when I'm 62. So then... Um, who knows where we'll be? I, we may, mom and I may move. So I'm, I've asked her to just hang on. I'm not going anywhere. She and I are going to have to be attached at the hip. And uh, we may move somewhere. So who knows? Who knows where we're going? But we can go anywhere we want to. Ain't nothing holding us. Anyway, so. Let's get to stitching. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to clean up my mess first because I have to, I can't, I can't work with it. I have to organize it back again. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get to work on getting this posted. Check my messages and see if I get to what my hours are going to be tomorrow. Should I go to bed now? <laughs> I just never know what's going to happen here. Anyway, so keep stitching, and thank you for coming and visiting my channel. And hopefully I'll see you in less than a month. But i got to have some progress, right? I will uh, get some pictures posted to Instagram. I'll try to be better about that if I'm not going to be doing videos. At least get that that way. Um, I do have my Facebook page, too. So I have I'll post to that. Um, so you guys take care and have a good time stitching away and sewing away and quilting away. There's all kinds of little sew alongs going on right now. And I hope you're enjoying everything you're doing. Love you. Bye.